Hello, Sinhui. What is the date today? 30th April. Yes, it has been five years since the 2011 Christchurch earthquake. This earthquake was measured 6.3 on a Richter scale. It struck on 22nd February 12:51 p.m. and only lasted 10 seconds. The focus was five kilometers deep. The epicenter was two kilometers west of Airport Town. There were several aftershocks, with quite a few that caused further damage of power cuts, casualties, and liquefaction. New Zealand, where two tectonic plates collide. In the south, we have a trench. A trench means that one side, in this case the Australian plate, is going down beneath the Pacific plate down to about 200 kilometres deep and along that plate boundary there are many earthquakes. In the central South Island the plate collision is mostly taken up by movement across what we call the Alpine Fault. So much of the earthquake activity on the Alpine Fault is sideways movement as well as a little bit of upwards movement. The upward movement is the thing that causes the very very strong boundary between Westland and the high peaks of the Southern Alps. Away from the Alpine Fault, which is the main fault of the plate boundary, there are many smaller faults, such as those that generated the devastating earthquakes in Canterbury. As we go further to the north, the Alpine Fault breaks up into a series of faults, and these are known as the Marlborough Fault System. Most of the movement transitions across onto the Hope Fault and heads out towards this plate boundary that's to the north. People of Canterbury were greatly affected. Many suffered losses and are still affected by it. Some of the effects are deaths, in which 185 people were killed. Most people died in the Canterbury Television Building that collapsed and caught fire. 3,129 people were also injured. Buildings in the central city and eastern suburbs were damaged. Up to 100,000 buildings were damaged, and about 10,000 buildings need to be demolished. Furthermore, bridges, water pipes and phone lines were destroyed. This disrupts communication, which delayed responses. This also affected the water supply. The iconic Canterbury Cathedral, which was weakened by the previous quake, has collapsed. Two years after the quake, a survey was carried out and 80% of the participants had said that their lives had significantly changed. Almost one out of three participants said that the earthquake has caused them some sort of financial problem. The divorce rate per 100,000 also increased from 211 to 261. Schools reopened, but they had to combine and share facilities. The earthquake also had an impact on the New Zealand's economy. Economists predicted that New Zealand would require 50 to 100 years to recover. There were also some environmental effects, like a 3.5 3 meter tsunami wave in the Tasman Lake and a quick trigger glacier calf on the Tasman Glacier. There was some liquefaction, mostly affecting the eastern suburbs, causing the upwelling of more than 200,000 tons of silt. Fires broke out in the CBD. So, what happened after the earthquake? Oh, several countries sent money and search and rescue teams to New Zealand. Some of these countries are USA, Australia, China, and many more. Besides that, many actions were taken to aid the victims and to restore the city. The Farming Army, 800 farmers, came with their tools to clean up the city center. Bottled water supply provided, portable shower units, community laundries were set up in affected areas. A field hospital with 75 beds was also set up as a temporary healthcare facility. The water supply was re-established to 70% of the household within one week. After a while, Christchurch were divided into four zones to indicate which area is safe to build on. Green, Orange, Red, White. By that time, other organizations such as Save the Children also take part in the recovery efforts. Are there any benefits? Yes. Property developers would be wanted to rebuild the damaged or collapsed building. Also, people with trauma exposure benefited in ways such as increase in personal strength, 
growth in social relationships, especially bringing families closer to together. And it made people realize what's important in life.